once again everyone and welcome back to my channel so today um we kind of just have a casual video going on because i just got back from class i don't really feel like putting a whole face on but i want to get a video out for you guys so this is what we're working with today so just you know excuse the bare face today we're just gonna have to roll with it um, if you've been on my channel for a while, then you you've seen this before. I used to used to be like this all the time for videos. So uh, as you can tell from the title of the video, we have a collective haul today. I haven't done a haul in quite some time. It feels like, and I've bought stuff. So I'm just gonna fill you guys in on it. Hope the lighting in here is okay. I have like both my windows open, or not open, but the blinds open. So. I'm hoping that this is not terrible. I just didn't want to turn on a huge hot light on me right now because it's pretty hot outside and my apartment is not super cool right now. So uh, anyway, I'm done rambling. Let's just jump in. So I'm going to do my best to tell you guys prices, but some of this stuff I bought a little while ago, so I can't exactly remember. So just bear with me. So let's just start with the oldest thing first. I was at Ulta a few weeks ago and I saw this and I just kind of fell in love with it because of the packaging. It is this Lux by Mr. Bubble, Bubble the Day Away Powdered Bubble Bath. And I've never seen a powdered bubble bath before, so I was like, whatever, I'll try it. I love bath stuff. Uh, this sucks. This was only like, I don't know, it was like less than $10, I think. And it sucks it just does not do anything it, it smells good but it doesn't really produce bubbles it just does not do what I expect a bubble bath to do which is produce bubbles so this is a complete dud for me steer clear of this if you see it at your Ulta so next I have this white barn candle from Bath and Body Works and this is in peppered plum I got this mainly because they were having a sale where it, it was like their candles were $10 off. And I got this mainly for that reason, but also because it smells sort of similar to my favorite candle ever from them, which is Wine Cellar. And they told me that it was a limited edition thing last year, I think, or maybe the year before, or whenever I got it. It was limited edition, and they've discontinued it as they always do with things that people enjoy because they hate joy. No, I don't know why companies discontinue things or just have seasonal things, especially if they sell really well. And I was told that they do sell, they did sell very well. So I really don't know why they haven't brought that back, but this scent is very similar. It's peppered plum and I'll read you the notes, the fragrance notes. Sweet plum, fresh saffron spice and black peppercorn. This smells really, really good. I still have a little bit of wine cellar left, but I have burned this and they are freakishly similar. But yeah, I got, the, these are regularly $24.50. I thought that they were $22, but whatever. So I got it for $14.50, but that was a few weeks ago. I don't think they're still running that promotion. Circling back to Ulta again, I got this a little bit after I got that bubble bath. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I got this because my NYX setting spray was just not doing the trick and I thought I would just bite the bullet and try this thing. I wanted to get the trial size, but they only had this at my Ulta and I was not about to drive to Sephora just for this. So I just went ahead and got it. It was like $32, I think. This is like one of their best selling products, like one of their original products. I'm pretty sure that they ever released. And honestly, I've, I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I have to say, this stuff, I don't know what it is, if it's like magic in a bottle, if it's like holy water, like I have no idea what this is, but it works, dude. Like I, I really was not expecting this to work that fantastic, but this stuff is like amazing. Like it is so good. It's like nectar of the gods, honestly. I don't understand, but it works and I'm gonna keep using it. So if any of y'all follow Trend Mood on Instagram like I do, uh, you would know that TJ Maxx often has um, high-end beauty products on sale. Sorry, my hair's like wavy, I don't know. 
Um, but they usually have some high-end beauty products for much, much cheaper than you would normally find them for. So I had to check out my local TJ Maxx and see what they had. And to be quite honest, I almost overlooked these things. I don't know if the employees hide these things for themselves so that no one else will find them, but these were in a bin at the very, very bottom of the cosmetic section pushed toward the back. So I got two Too Faced regular lipsticks and one Too Faced Melted Chocolate liquefied metallic lipstick. So these are not colors that I would normally wear. Well, this one kind of is, but these two are not. But I decided to give them a shot because they were so cheap. Um, this one is in the shade Pitch Perfect. And I'll show you what that looks like. So it's kind of a fuchsia, pinky, plummy color. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch that. That's what it looks like. It's really, really bright. I don't usually wear these kind of colors, but if you layer it, it is kind of a little bit darker. So that's the first one. And then the next one I got is in Rebel Heart. And it's just, it's just like a bright red color like that. And I did check all of these to make sure that they were not open because people at TJ Maxx have a tendency to open things. So there's Rebel Heart right there. And then I was really interested to see this, the Melted Chocolate. I've never used any of their melted lipsticks. This is not a matte, but it's more of like a, just a sparkly, glossy color. Here. Let me show you. It does smell a lot like chocolate though. So that's that, and that is in metallic candy bar right there and these were like six dollars each or twelve dollars each i don't remember it was a lot cheaper than what you would normally find them for so i thought that these things were kind of a steal i am a frequent flyer of victoria's secret i do not want to separate these things into different trips really so i'm just going to show them to you all at once even though i didn't buy all this stuff all at once um, the first thing I want to show you is this pink limited edition body lotion in Petal Vibes. They've had their pink, co uh, not cosmetics, their pink body stuff on sale for like $7 a piece a lot lately. So I just picked this up. I love their lotions and body sprays and just everything that smells good because Victoria's Secret, everything smells good. This one smells really nice to me. Um... It's pink pineapple and mariposa petals, apparently, whatever that smells like. It just smells really good. It was $7. I said, hey, why not? It's usually $18. So that's pretty good. I love this. I've been using it a ton. Um, and then the next one that I got is just a fragrance lotion in Dark Flora. They have these for like $6, I think. Their fragrance, or yeah, fragrance lotions and fragrance mists are like six dollars right now. Uh, this is pomegranate and sugared woods, it's really, really nice. I love like fall dark, rich scents like this. And this whole really, this whole um collection, I don't know what it's called, it's like wilderness or something. I don't know, it's like a forest collection, it has like this kind of logo on it. Everything in that smelled so good, and I actually bought some more as, like, presents for people. So, don't tell, but I did buy more of these. So, now we get down to the things that I bought today. Um, I got two of these Insta Love Pink Bath Bombs. This is my favorite bath bomb, period, of the moment. I love these. They make your water, like purple and it smells so good and you're so soft when you get out of the bathtub and these are usually $6.50 each but they were on sale for $3 each and that's going on right now so I just picked up two of those because this is just my favorite and now we come to the try on portion of this video drum roll please because I picked up some of their pink lounge pants 
in this grayish blackish color I'm gonna go ahead and cut to a clip of that because I am wearing them right now and it would just be easiest for you to see for yourself today um and that's what i got from pink today or victoria's secret in general whatever you want to say and i went to ulta today too i kind of just had to make my rounds through there this is nothing really exciting i got a replacement of the diamond sponge and this is like 9.99 i think i use this every single day to put on my foundation well not every single day but every time i put on makeup i use that to put on my foundation and then they had like a bunch of different cosmetics lines uh buy one get one half off and i've been experimenting with liquid liner recently because i'm usually not that good at it but i've been working on it lately you probably saw that in my walmart video i had some some uneven wings some sick wings going on uh but yeah i'm trying so uh, my best friend told me that she uses the nyx liquid liners to do her eyeliner and her eyeliner always looks flawless so i was like you know i'm gonna give it a shot so i have two different ones here this was the more expensive one this is the that's the point hella fine artistry liner and this is like a felt tip liner and this is just in black this one was 9.99 so i paid full price for that one this is the matte liquid liner in black and this one is like you have a brush that you dip into the liner itself and this one was $6.99 so I got it for what like three dollars three fifty whatever so those are those they're just kind of simple black liners I'm gonna try those I'll let you guys know how that works out for me which one I choose which one I like better yada 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 and the very last place that I went today was Bath and Body Works, and this is not very exciting either. I got some replacements of the little wallflower, um, the wallflower scent things, because they were five for twenty-three dollars, and I had a twenty percent off coupon that I got in the mail. So the ones that I got, let me see, I can't tell from the receipt. I'll just have to open them up and show you. I have three wallflowers in my house. I have one in the bathroom, bedroom, and the living room. So let's see. I have, I got two of these. This is the A Thousand Wishes because that one is my favorite by far. Yeah, two of those. I got a Japanese cherry blossom. I really like that one. Oh, incense. I love this smell. It smells so good. I love incense in general. Uh, especially patchouli that smells a lot like patchouli to me and flannel is the last one that I picked up from there today and the last couple of things that I want to show you I did not purchase today I purchased last week I think on sale um, I have some try on clips for you I'm not gonna show you right now because they are currently in the dirty clothes waiting to get washed so I'm just going to tell you about them. So the first pair that you are about to see um, are, they have rips in the knees and those ones are the super stretch jegging, I think. This is stuff, these, these pants are from American Eagle, by the way. Um, the first pair that you're gonna see, super stretch jegging, they have the holes in the knees. Those ones were $49.99 and american eagle was having a sale where you buy one pair of jeans you get the other pair 50 percent off so i bought that pair full price and then The second pair is a light wash, um, no rips or anything. They're just the regular skinny jean, and those are normally $39.99, so those are the ones that I got half off, so those would be 
I don't know, half of $39.99, probably like 20 bucks or something. So. that is it for this super casual haul video hope you guys didn't mind too much um, but yeah that is everything that I got thank you guys once again so so much for joining me today leave me a like if you like this video comment down below tell me what you've bought recently and subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Friday thank you guys once again so so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys next time bye